and tonight I welcome you to Shitu Mathematics class. I hope you are doing very good over there. Thank God for that. Today we are going to be looking at algebraic expressions where we'll be looking at how we can factorize algebraic expressions most especially quadratic expressions by using what we mean by magic cross method magic cross method magic cross what method I um, believe that you are just hearing, some of you are just hearing this magic cross method for the first time. So the, the gist there is that magic, are you getting now? So we are going to be using magic cross method to, us, to factorize any quadratic expression that is factorizable. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So now let's say we have the following. So let's say we have these expressions and we are asked to look or to factorize these expressions using a magic cross method. So what are you going to do? So I want you to follow me, listen attentively, it's very very sweet. <laughs> so now let's look at this solution. Let's start from number one. You have s squared plus 8x plus 16. So now first of all our main focus is the first and the last term. So we are going to split the first term in two factors so that when we multiply the two factors, it's going to give us x squared. So we have x and x. Are you ready now? The same thing we did here yeah, because x times x is going to give us x squared. So the same thing we did, we are going to do it today, what? Today, third term. So now, look at the two factors. Let's say we have 4 and 4. 4 times 4 is actually going to give us 16. So now, what are we going to do? We use the cross, the magic cross, to cross it like this, that is cross multiplication. So when you multiply this by this, this is going to give us 4x. When you multiply this, that is x by 4, this is also going to give us what? 4x. So now the next thing we are going to look at the what we look at the middle term of the what of the expression. Now what we have here, what can we do to these two? Are you getting them? Are we going to add or you subtract so that we are going to have what they have on the middle term here? If you look at this, if you want to have what we have in this middle term. Given this, we are going to put plus here. We put plus here. Plus 4x plus 4x is going to give us plus 8x. So which is the same thing with what we have in the middle plus 8x. What are we going to do? For the fact that we put plus here, plus is going to be here. For the fact that we put plus here, plus is going to be here. Therefore, we have what? We have x squared plus 8x plus 16 to be factorized as we now pick this one x plus 4 x plus 4 and what x plus 4 x plus 4 so now completely we are going to have x plus 4 raised to the power 2 if you look at this now, you can see that x plus 4, x plus 4, x plus 4, because we have x plus 4, x plus 4, this is multiplication in between, therefore we have squared. So we are going to have what? this as the, as the factor of x squared plus 8x plus 16. 
Now let's go to the second one. You can see that it's very simple. Now go to, going to the second one, we have 25 m squared plus 30 m plus what? 9. The same thing we are going to do. We look at the first term and the last term. Try to split this into two factors. We are going to have 5m and then 5m again. I, I, because 5m times 5m is going to give us 25m squared. Come to this one also, the last term. We are going to have 3 and 3. So that 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. Now let's use our magic cross uh, tools. What are you going to have here? If you multiply this one by this one, we are going to have 15 m. If you multiply this one by this one, we are still going to have 15 what? 15 m. Then what can we do to this and to this to have what to have a middle term? Therefore, we put plus here and put plus here. 15 m plus 15 m is going to give us what? Plus what? 30 m. For the fact that we put plus here and we put plus here. We are going to have plus here and we are going to have plus here. Then we have what? We have this equation, or let's say we have this expression to be factored or to be factorized as 5m plus 3, then 5m plus 3. Are you getting it now? So we are going to look at the what? We are going to look at the, the third or the third example, which is this. Then from there, let's say we have this. The same thing we are going to do. Try to split this also into two factors, whereby we multiply them together. We are going to have 49y squared back. So we have 7y. We have 7y. Are you getting it now? Then the last term also, we have 6z. We have 6z. 6z times 6z is going to give us 36z squared. Then use our cross. Then we multiply this by this. We have 42 what? 42z. We multiply this by this. We also have what? We also have 42z. 42. 42z. And we have 42z there also. Are you getting it now? So now from there, the same thing. What can you do to this to give us what to give us what they have on the middle? You can see that we have plus a, and if you have plus a also, 42z plus 42z automatically plus will be here, plus will be here. So we have this expression to be factorized as 7y plus 6 into bracket 7y plus 6 what 6z 6z I mean here. Now, if you now want to confirm whether what you have here is right or not, I get it now. Try to open the bracket by multiplying each of the terms there by each of the terms there. I get it now. So you see that you are going to arrive at the what at the given expressions. Do you understand now? And that is the end of today's lecture. So kindly leave on the comment box if you have any question concerning this. And I promise you, and I'm still saying it. In as much you have an expression that is what that is factorizable, going through stress, going through you know methods where you are going to be having much problem or much stress. So just use magic cross method, and magic cross methods we go to what is going to take you to the what to the solution land. So that is that for the uh, class of today. Now share this class to your friends, your learning colleagues, so they can also what they can also benefit from it. And at the same time, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you have not done that. I remain my humble self, Muhammad Al Amin Shitu. Thank you once again.